Okay, so we have this um, four digit, two digit long multiplication. So what I do is I always start by circling the number I need to use to keep all my numbers ordered and I keep everything in the squares. So let's start. So three times six is 18, carry my one. And then you've got one times six is six plus one is seven. Four times six is 24, carry my two. Make sure those carryovers are small and easy to read. Five times six is 30 plus two is 32. And then we're completely finished, put a zero. The reason is because now we're using this column, which is our tens. Three eighths, that is 24, carry my two. Okay, and then we've got one eight, which is eight, nine, 10. Carry my one. We've got four eights, which is 32, 33. And then we have five eights, which is 40, plus three, which is 43. Now we can add straight across and you can ignore these tiny little carryovers because they're smaller. You know they don't get mixed up and everything is in its columns. So we, I like to do a double line here. So eight plus zero is eight. Seven plus four is 11. Carry over my one. Now we have everything in the same column. Four plus one is five. Two plus three is five. Three plus three is six and four on its own. Now there are there is another way of doing this. And the other way would be to partition. So you could say, for example, you could do something like 5,000 and you've got your 400 and then you have your 10 and your three and you times each of these by 80. And then you get the sum of them, it's a bit like the grid method, and then you add them all up. And then that sum, whatever these answers are here, you can add them here. And I'm just not going to do it this way because I'll tell you why in a moment. And then you can do the same again. You can say um, three times six, one uh, 10 times six, 40, 400 times six, 5,000 times six, because you get so much working out, it can get very confusing. You could do it another way, which is if this way is a bit tricky for you, you could do something like four, 541, um, sorry, four, 5,410 times eight, and then times that answer by 10, and then you would have worked out this portion of it. And then you could say 5,400 and 13 and then keep it as a six because the six was a unit because remember that eight is really an 80 and then add your answers together but if you can practice the um, standard multiplication that will make your life a lot easier because this paper there's only 30 minutes for it and you've got about 35 questions so lots of practice with that will really help